unbelievably well. I mean, in all honesty, we came into this blind. We came into this not knowing anything. And, I mean, we're just trying to be innovative. That yeah, worked. Some creative Xavier students use the latest technology to give an ailing service dog a leg up. Good evening, everyone. Tiny, the service dog in training, has a new leg this evening thanks to a computer science class at Xavier University. Yeah, Tiny was born with a deformed right front leg. Two months ago, our handler connected with Xavier to find a solution, and yeah, they did. And that's where Local 12's Joe Webb picks up the story. Joe. Well, Paula, like you said, we're on the campus of Xavier University right outside the Innovation Center that really lived up to its name today. The students in the Introduction to Making class, which is taught here, made a prosthetic animal leg. But more than anything else, what they really did was improve the quality of life for a young golden retriever. 3D printers can make all sorts of things. This one is in the process of making a violin. But down the hall, students in Dr. Lewandowski's Intro to Making class have used the technology to not only make something, but to also make a difference. Today, they fitted Tiny the Golden Retriever with her 3D printed prosthetic. After some coaxing with treats, Tiny took her first tentative steps. Not quite sure what to make of her new leg. But she got up and made her way outside. It'll take time for her to get used to it, so using that forward motion of her shoulder. But she's sitting with it very naturally. Um, she's putting weight on it, so hopefully this will be a great help to her. The students worked with professional prosthetist Christine Geating, but did their own design. Geating likes the final product, a spongy sleeve cupped inside a plastic support with an adjustable length. The foot, after many attempts to find a way to cushion the leg like a paw, is a plunger. Right now, if the alignment's good, the suspension is good, and the fit is, is good. It's working. It is working. If the tail wagging is any indication, it's working for Tiny, too. There is one final modification. They're beefing up that threaded part. That was on the printer today. It will be white plastic, so Tiny's leg will be Xavier colors. The project is shaping up to be a win-win for man and beast. I love that we're able to make something for, for example, a dog, maybe in the future a human, um, with something that we can program or make on the computer. Everything they do here is, is pure learning because we didn't know how to do any of it ahead of time. We had to go out and do all the research, so it had to be in their hands. So there's no way that I could do it. Now the hope is that that prosthetic will give Tiny the extra support that she needs to become a full-fledged service dog. She will start more intensive service training in the next few months. Paula? Uh, it's beyond wonderful. And Joe, any reason why they chose Tiny to be a service dog? Just her nice makeup and she seems so sweet. Well, I, 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 really, I really don't know. Uh, they chose her for this program obviously because she had the, the problem with her, uh, with her right front leg. But I, I have to tell you, she is the most gentle, kind, caring dog. She, was, she is literally unflappable. So I, I really hope that this prosthetic works because, I mean, at least to the outsider looking in, she would make a great service. Dog. Oh, that's fantastic. Thanks for that story, Joe. And Xavier's Center for Innovation just opened in February. The center has 31 MakerBot 3D printers.